NetSniff NG is called the Swiss Army Knife by the developers of this tool for everything Linux networking, and I personally agree with them. As always, my alias is Apron, and I would like to start by sharing some features freely available to the world. Firstly, a zero-copy mechanism is used while running NetSniff NG, and for those who don't know what a zero-copy mechanism is, I sure didn't. Stack Overflow words it as, zero-copy describes computer operations in which the CPU does not perform the task of copying data from one memory area to another. You can read more by going to this URL in the description. Secondly, a simple main function of the program is that it records PCAP files. PCAP files meaning captured packets to your hard drive or offers the ability to replay them. This program also supports the same thing but with 802.11 frames, and it's compatible with other network analysts and auditing software like Wireshark. When installing NetSniff NG, you get to use all eight programs packed inside. This is to complete specific and more advanced tasks. Here are a few to mention. TrafGen is a multi-threaded network packet generator. AS TraceRoute is an autonomous system traceroute utility. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Those are the two that I find myself using a lot, though. But there are definitely more to look into. You can find more information about them by visiting NetSniff NG's website, link on the screen, and on the description. Now let's get into this application and run a few commands to show you some simple but useful abilities of NetSniffNG. NetSniffNG is a terminal-based program, which means there is no graphical interface like Wireshark. Most applications like this in the Linux world have a manual. You can see NetSniffNG's manual by typing in man NetSniffNG. We see a big long description of the application and what it can do and then all the available options below with a few basic examples at the very bottom. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing basic packet capturing and reading. Now, for those who want to be very knowledgeable with this tool, I highly suggest you read through the entire manual. Look up everything you don't know, take notes, reread, play around, and trial and error is your best friend. Doing this will greatly increase your experience with this tool. This application will only run with root privileges, so make sure you do have them by logging into root or using sudo before every command, your choice. The first option shown in the manual is the input option, which would be TAC I, and below that is the output option, which would be TAC O. Pretty straightforward. Usually a networking device like ETH0 or WLAN0 is in place, so you can also replace that with PCAP files if you wanted to. So let's figure out how to write traffic coming in on a networking device and then write that traffic to a PCAP file. So we start our command with netsniffng and following that will be a TAC I option for our input. And we'll need to find out our networking device, how it's defined on our system. I'm on Arch Linux, so I find that out by running IP space link. And since I know I'm going to be gathering traffic over Ethernet, I will be looking for a device name that starts with E. Now ENP3S0 is what mine is defined as. Usually it is automatically changed to ETH0 or ETH1, but for me it is not. After that I use a TAC O option. This will then give me a option to define a file name, a PCAP file name. For this example I'm going to be using temp.pcap. I will also be using two more options to improve performance. It will be the TAC S option for silent. Adding this option will not spam or print anything on your terminal whatsoever. It's already going to a file, and it's probably going to be running too fast for your eyes to read anyways. And lastly, we have the TAC B option for bind CPU. This will have NetSniffNG run on a specific CPU. If you're expecting tons of traffic to be captured, I guess we'll find out. For this example, I'm going to be using my first CPU in line, and in the computer world, first is usually defined as zero, so that's what I'm going to put on there. When we run this, it is capturing data as we speak, and writing it to temp.pcap. I'm going to open up Firefox right now, connect to DuckDuckGo to generate some traffic, and then cancel this operation by holding Control c to read the file, we will want to type the same command without the last two options and replace the networking device with the PCAP file name we created. The command would be netsniffng tac i space temp dot pcap. The network traffic on my network shows me communicating with a TP link device, and that happens to be my router, the only thing connected to my PC. 
It shows the port I'm communicating on, the geolocation, and the flags of the packet. Again, by exploring and being generally curious of what goes through your network, looking up everything you don't understand on your screen is your best option in learning and understanding what all this means, because unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Let me know if you would like me to do a more advanced tutorial on a more specific task using this application. There is also a high quality written tutorial I would like to bring to your attention. It is posted on the Community Ubuntu website. Link is on the screen and in the description. And as always, I hope you have a great learning experience here. Share what you know with the world, live with knowledge, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.